Athens. Knowing that cameras are not permitted inside the building, some of the women scouted a secluded location in advance. They came prepared with inconspicuous devices to film. They say that other than a few strange looks from students, no one seemed to notice. Today, Breather opened two new locations, this one here at West 36th and Broadway and another at East 27th and Park Avenue South. You can rent a room for $25 an hour or $12.50 for half an hour. One risk is the online circulation of weapons. Currently, there are no laws prohibiting the printing of guns. Kimberly Amiano, Columbia Television News. Willits Point is home to 62 acres of auto body shops and junkyards, and most of them are immigrant-owned small businesses. But new redevelopment plans are pushing them out. That's the way the city works, you know, and um, we can't do anything about it, so we can just sit back and wait till they could just take everything now. It doesn't affect them. Juan Rodriguez has managed Sunrise Auto Parts here for over 15 years. Last year, Mayor Bloomberg announced that Willis Point businesses will be driven out and replaced with a convention center, shopping mall, and mixed income housing. They're just not going to relocate me. They're just going to, hey, here's the money, get out, find out your way, you know? We don't care where you go or you go, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to us. You just have to go. Willis Point is the latest example of new, large scale construction projects planned for the city. Examples include Hudson Yards and Flushing Commons. Many fear that projects like this are pushing small businesses out. According to the American Immigration Council, in 2010, immigrant business owners generated $12.6 billion in total net business income. Between 2006 and 2010, over 260,000 immigrants became new business owners in New York, making up about a third of the city's total business owners. Back in the day, the city was very much actively involved in supporting the neighborhood business activity. Lawrence King is a business advisor at the Small Business Development Center at Columbia University Business School. I mean, they claim that they're still doing that now, but I think they should probably um, return back to those kind of similar policies where it was kind of neighborhood-based, um, a neighborhood-based um, community initiatives to support um, um, small business activity. Hopefully with the new mayor that will, will play a role in that. City authorities began phasing out businesses in Willis Point last month and will continue to do so over the next three years. Workers plan to relocate, but small business owners throughout New York City are hoping to avoid a similar fate. Kimberly Amiano, Columbia Television News.